The most powerful country in the world is Saudi Arabia. It is not the United States with its mighty military and bases around the world, technological advancements. It's not China with its billion population, million strong army and uh, killer satellites. It's not the old, you know, Russia. They've seen and had their day. EU is suffering through the worst economic downturn with country after country facing bankruptcy. The most powerful country in the world is Saudi Arabia, and the most powerful leader in the world is the king of Saudi Arabia. That is why President George Bush kissed the king of Saudi Arabia and led him around by the hand at the White House like a prom date. Barack Obama bows to the king of Saudi Arabia because they know that he is the power. And Saudi Arabia, the kingdom of Saudi Arabia, is the most powerful country on the face of this earth. For all you kids out there, born before internet and cell phones and laptop computers, back in 1973, not even 40 years ago, there was an Arab oil embargo put out by the Organization of Arab Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC. Now that membership also includes, get a load of this, Egypt, Syria and Tunisia. Tunisia had just had a major reform where they kicked out their old leader who was a uh, dictator, uh, embezzler, corrupt, uh, whatever. Egypt is having that same problem right now with people uprising. Syria has problems. Uh, possibly Libya could be along the way and so could uh, Yemen. But the three, Egypt, Syria and Tunisia, think about what's happened there. So here's the thing. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is the world's most powerful country because it has oil pumping from under the ground. Oil is the economic blood of every country. This has not changed since 1973 when oil was $3 a barrel. Imagine $3. When the embargo hit, it spiked 70% reaching $5.11 a barrel. At the height, it went as high as $12 a barrel. European countries abandoned their close ties with the United States because the embargo was based at the United States because the U.S. was resupplying Israel with military weapons. Even Japan went arm length to the United States. Hey, uh, like, you know, we don't want to be too close to you because this is hurting everybody, man. You know, the price of oil. Can you imagine if China was hit with a 100% increase in the price of oil right now? All those factories, all those cities, all those millions of cars. What would happen? What would happen in Europe just coming to a recovery? And the king of Saudi Arabia is not a young man. He was just in New York getting medical attention. If something happens in Saudi Arabia with him and there's internal turmoil, even the hint of it, and you listen to what they say, markets don't like instability. If there's any instability coming to Saudi Arabia, it doesn't matter that the U.S. has a military base there. They won't be able to put in their puppet anymore because it doesn't work that way. Because of social media, so many young people, I mean the Arab country is ripe with young people who want to see change. And if there's any instability in Saudi Arabia and oil goes up 50, 60, 100 dollars a barrel, the whole world will come to its knees. That makes the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia the most powerful country in the world and the King of Saudi Arabia the most powerful man on the face of this planet.